Hello everybody, welcome back to Flynn Eastwood's Armory. Today we're going over part two of reloading equipment. We're going to cover a lot of things today. Hopefully I'll be able to give you some price ranges for those objects as well, where to get them from. And in future videos we will be going over in depth on how to use each piece of equipment I have. Here we are at a reloading bench going over equipment here this there are many different names for it I call it a dial caliper okay you always want to make sure that when you go to use this thing it's set to zero I prefer the non-digital ones just so that way I know the reading is what it actually is and on top of that they're usually cheaper okay you can pick these up at a lot of different places for a lot of different prices depends on how many decimal points you want to be able to read okay this is a Hornaday overall length gauge this one is for bolt action rifles you have to purchase the case separately it threads onto the end of this and goes into your chamber we'll cover how to use this in a different video they do make ones that are for semi-automatic rifles pump or lever action because this will not fit in that style chamber this is the adapter that goes on to here to measure what the overall length gauge is trying to show you using the bullet ogive okay and that's the circumference of the bullet not the tip crappy screwdriver used for cleaning out the primer hole Neck chamfering tool, many names for it, that's what I call it. Use this, clean your neck inside and outside on your brass. The neck trimmer here, these pieces together, this comes in a set. I think you can get it on Midway for like 100, 115 bucks, somewhere in there. What this is going to do is this is going to trim the neck on your brass on the inside because at the base of the neck, or the top of your cone, whatever you'd like to call it, a bubble can form inside of the neck and that can actually throw off your crimping of your bullet and also can affect the way that your bullet or your charge builds pressure inside of the brass and can affect your bullet flight path. So here we've got our powder trickler now this works, you pour powder in here, it's got a little hole in there, and you spin it around, and that lets the powder in there, and as you spin it around, it's going to work out the threads in this tube, and it's just going to trickle the powder into whatever you're trying to trickle it into. On Midway, I believe, you can get a powder trickler, not this exact model, for around 18 bucks, I think. Okay, this is a powder measure here. You're going to put powder in here, lift the lever up, and then when you pull it back down, it's going to dispense whatever amount of powder you've adjusted with this screw. And I believe you can pick this up on Midway. The powder measure itself, I think it's like 100, 110 bucks. The stand is sold separately, I think it's like 30 bucks. So our Hornaday scale here, use this to measure powder or bullets, whatever you prefer. Comes with a little tray, some calibrating measurement weights. This plastic cover to block the wind if you've got a breeze or if you're breathing heavy, it'll set it off. This scale specifically measures to a tenth of a grain. That's one decimal point after to the right. Um, they don't offer this exact scale anymore, but you can pick this scale up for like the equivalent scale for like 180 bucks, I believe. So this is a powder funnel. Basically, this just goes over top of your piece of brass and you pour powder in there so you don't make a mess, all right? I believe you can pick this up also for like five bucks. So here we got our Lee Classic Series Press. 
you can pick this up for around 190 bucks, I think. Um, I suggest getting a whole set of shell holders. I believe you can pick that set up for like 36 bucks or so. I highly recommend getting this set up too. This Lee primer tool snaps right on here. Maybe. And then it just makes it so much easier because you just swing it in here and it just puts a primer right on there without even having to mess with them. Here we just got a plain old stamp pad, felt stamp pad from Walmart, a couple bucks. It's what I use for my lube. Okay, just some basic lube, a couple ten, fifteen dollars. Now we've got our dies. I purchased the RCBS gold medal die sets. Those obviously vary in price depending on what size die you get. They can be anywhere from $109 to $160. This is what it looks like. Basically, this little piece in here uses the very tip of the bullet ogive to set the bullet down in there as square as possible. This is full length resizer that comes with it and this was just an old one that I had just a plain seating die. There's a bullet puller definitely going to want to get one of these. I would definitely recommend using a board and I would use the end grain of the board. I can smack this table as hard as I want all day. That bullet will never come out of that piece of brass. You need something solid, but you also need it to be forgiving. The end of a 2x4 or a 2x6 works perfect. Here we got our Hornaday Precision Measurement Station. Comes with all these different attachments for different bullet ogives measuring different things. Uh, you can move this dial indicator around to measure total length or you can use it down here to measure bullet run out like so okay you just spin the bullet and this is a factory ammo so you can clearly see how much run out there is now this measures in one thousandths so every line is one thousandths of an inch and I think you can pick this up for around 270 bucks. So this, also made by Hornaday, is basically the same thing as this, but a cheaper version and doesn't allow you to do as many things. So this, same thing, measures your concentricity or your bullet run out. And you can see here, this is a bullet that I loaded myself. And you can see how much there is there is it's almost perfect the thing is with this one too this one's even more precise than the last one this dial indicator measures in five ten thousandths of an inch so every line is five ten thousandths of an inch so that just goes to show you right there we've got one maybe just a whisk or more that that reloading press right there is pretty good for the amount of money I paid for, right? It's not like a high dollar rock chuck or anything like that. $190, $200, and RCBS gold medal seating die, that's all you need. Thanks for watching part two of Equipment Overview. Hopefully I covered everything you need or you think you might need to set yourself up for reloading but also precision reloading. I have approximately $1,500 in equipment, not including obviously ammo, brass, powder, primers, all that stuff. 
or including the building of my table. But I have $1,500 of equipment over there. And I just showed you that I'm reloading bullets with less than a thousandth of an inch run out. That's pretty darn good. So make sure you watch our videos next time as I start to go more in depth on each piece of equipment, how to use it, how you should use it to get those precision results. And make sure you like and subscribe, Flynn Eastwood Armory. And make sure you also go on Facebook and Instagram and check out Red Creek Outdoors.